The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. So we're about an hour away exactly. It is exactly 7 a.m. At 8 a.m., we will have a song scramble for Lollapalooza tickets. Four-day passes, 8 a.m. The Q101 Morning Crew. Sports. Look at the March Madness. Your bracket busted. Uh, Kara's yours is because you picked yep. Kentucky all the way. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And you're from Detroit originally, and Oakland Community College, or it's not a community college, it's Oakland University. I was going to say, OCC, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's funny because I saw Oakland on there, and then I said to Megan, I wonder, is that Oakland Cali? And Googled them, I go, oh, no, this is Oakland uh, from Detroit, which, you know, if, you know, when we talk about here at M&M and 8 Mile, the county north of 8 Mile is yeah. Oakland, and there's a college there. Kind of like a little like Columbia College. I think it's mostly a commuter school. Yeah. I kind of did assume it was California, though, when I was doing my picks. I didn't realize it yeah. was Michigan. And they have a pretty good basketball team. Oh, pretty whoops. good team. Whoops. And they upset Kentucky, and that was the biggest upset of the day. So Kentucky's out, a three seed's out, and Oakland will advance. But for our local people, uh, Illinois, Marcus uh, Damask had a triple-double, and uh, Terrence Shannon scored 26 points as well, number three Illinois, to get away from Moorhead State, 85-69. Pretty easily they won that game. So Illinois advances. It looked great, too. It was a really good game. So we're going to play. I always look at this university and want to call it Duquesne. It's, like, du- it's Duquesne. It doesn't rhyme with Kenny Chesney. No, <laughs> it, just, it looks like Duquesne. So they're playing them tomorrow night at 740. So that'll be meaning Saturday night, 740. Also, local Iowa State beats South Dakota State pretty easily, 82-65. And they'll play Washington State in round two on Saturday at 5. Now, what you got today is uh, Northwestern will be playing uh, Fort Atlantic at 11-15. That'll be on CBS. Um, first game of the day. That's the, that's the first game of the day. Then Grambling State Purdue. I'm sick and tired of losing to Purdue. <laughs> That'll be at 625 on TBS. It's Bobby Knight impression. And then 840 on CBS tonight will be Wisconsin James Madison. So you got Northwestern, Purdue, and Wisconsin today. It's a good day. No, it's good. It's, it's the best sports day. Like I said, you just get trapped in these games. It's so fun just to sit there, and especially, I don't know how many YouTube TV people we have out there, but they do the four-screen split for you. It's so good. That's life. Just, it's good living. Just like getting YouTube premium, I'm going to have to start paying for that because I'm addicted to that now. <laughs> no ads. It's so good. Crap. Oh, man, imagine if it was 60 degrees out and we also had all these basketball games. That's my only hang-up on this weekend. You are so preoccupied with the weather. I don't like it. Just deal. Yeah, but it I was nice, to be nice. Wouldn't you be outside, though? No, no. <laughs> outside, come on. He's afraid of like bugs and yeah. sunshine. What's the point of nice weather if you're not going to be outside? I just want to know it's nice out. Okay. I don't want to experience it. Good lord. There's nothing for me out there. <laughs> you know. Now, in piece of garbage madness, which you can vote, please vote at Q101's uh, Facebook page, Instagram, and Twitter. The matchups yesterday were Tiffany Henyard, one seed versus the Cubs. She's an overall one seed. She destroyed the Cubs, of course, so she advances. Not shocked by that. Uh, Jared Leto and the woman went to the White Sox game with a gun and her fat rolls. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> that's a, a mild upset. Jared Leto was an eight seed, and people were wondering why we put Jared Leto on the list. It's because it was very petty, I guess, in a way. He was scheduled for an interview here, and for months. It was all set up. We got ready. We came back for Lollapalooza last year. And then he canceled the interview on us. Uh, among other things, the, the relationship between this show and Jared Leto is not great. That sort of uh, set off a, a what, what's it? Oh, it's the rolling ball. Chain of events. Thank you. What, what am I thinking of? The ball that rolls down the hill. Um, a stra- ball rolling? straw. Started the ball rolling. <laughs> no. no, he started the ball rolling. You, what, okay, I'm asking this. <laughs> Hold on. It'll get there. We'll get time. Go ahead. You're, you picture you. Yeah. You're running downhill. Yeah. There's a giant ball mm. rolling after you. <laughs> What's that called? It's it's called a, a rock. Um, oh God, what a, it's like a specific thing that I'm trying to think of. Does anybody know the reference? Avalanche? Tra- <sighs> yeah, kind of like it started No, that that's, that's not what you're thinking of. <laughs> Don't cop out. Keep going. I want you to get there. I'll stay here for 10 minutes if I have to. I can't think of what I'm trying to think of. Um... If anybody knows, just text him. It did him. set off a chain of negative Jared Leto-related <laughs> events. What am I trying to think of? God. So the woman with the gun in the White Sox game <laughs> in her fat rolls, she won. She won by a, a small margin, so she will advance over Jared Leto. Also, is it the snowball, snowball effect? Snowball effect is exactly oh! what I was trying to think of. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. And the toughest matchup yesterday was a five-seed, the Chicago Stadium drama versus the generation of Gen Z, who was a 12 seed. 5-12 matchups, typically huge upsets, and every generation is represented. We're not picking on Gen Z specifically. You've got Gen Z, Gen X, Millennials, and Boomers in every region. So we want to see 
who, pe- who people hate the most. <laughs> <laughs> and this was a close matchup. I-, I would love to say Gen Z advanced just to make it more interesting, but the Chicago Stadium drama, which has been talked about for years now, really just barely won by a last-second three-point shot. So the advancements are Tiffany Henyard, a uh, White Sox woman with gun in her fat rolls, and <laughs> Chicago <laughs> Stadium drama. But our new matchup just got put up there. It is a four seed. The traffic mess of Riot Fest being on Mexican Independence Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Kara, yeah. you feel that? Yes, I do. Yeah, we all felt it. Yeah. I had to pay $120 to get out of there on a rickshaw to the pink line. Oh, my God. <laughs> with three drunk girls, including one of them being my wife. <laughs> and that was after hours of trying to get out of there. Right. We tried to walk out. We, yeah. I, I didn't drive. I don't know what I'm going to do this year. I might try to drive to Riot Fest this year. I did. I got a ticket, but it's cheaper than the $120 you spent. That's not a bad way Seriously. to look at it. That's girl math right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going against Matt Reif, the comedian Matt Reif, a 13 seed, nominated by K specifically. I haven't seen his new special, but apparently Matt Reif was the hottest thing ever a year ago. He sold out nine shows coming up to the Chicago Theater, and a lot of controversy surrounding him, I guess is the best word to say it. I, I don't even, I'm not, I'm not even quite familiar, to be honest, with um, how he ended up here, but Case explained it to me. His last special really got a lot of negative reviews and the yeah. way he's changed his vibe. Dude just sucks. Okay, okay. Dude just sucks. <laughs> That's that simple. All right, well, you guys decide and you vote at Q101's Facebook page. Back to Chicago sports. The Bulls lost to the Rockets last night, but that wasn't the real story. DeMar DeRozan, usually pretty calm, chill, uh, got ejected when this happened. Oh, Mark, after he got that rebound, oh. then DeRozan bangs into Jalen Green. Green a little slow to get up, and now that's going to be reviewed for a potential flagrant, I guess. Oh, boy, here we go. Now Dylan Brooks is going to make things happen (laughs) the only way he knows how. And Craig is going to separate him. Bodies are hitting the deck, including security guards. Well, Dylan Brooks, Dylan Brooks always got to try to start something. He's got a reputation (laughs) for this. He didn't like the foul. He had a hard foul. He didn't like it. Then he went up and said something to DeMar. He got in his face, and then that's how it all started. Everybody trying to separate. <laughs> I love the play-by-play of the fight. Obi <laughs> White right back in the thick of things. Okay, they all kind of went down there. I love Stacey King just got to go. He always got to get his head in there. He, he does. Dylan Brooks is uh, he's a he's menace. A, he's like Matt Reif. He's an a-hole. A little bit. Yeah, sucks, dude just gotta. sucks. <laughs> dude just sucks. Uh, but it was entertaining when the security guards started hitting the floor. You know, you walk in there. I expect, I expect security guards to just handle it. But there's so many people together and just people start falling and I know these guys are big. Those guys aren't too big. Dylan Brooks and uh, and Demar Derozan's not that big. Bigger than you? I don't know. Is, is Demar taller than me? Is he six six? I'm six four and a quarter. I think he's six six. Demar Derozan. That is bigger than me. For the record, he is bigger than you. He's six six. Is he, there yeah. you go. At least I got this height right. Maybe he should know my height so we can match up better. Does he think he knows I'm six four and a quarter? I don't think he knows who you are, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> the Brian and Kenzie Show on Q. 101. It's Brian and Kenzie on Q101. So check in right now. 312-591-8300. Call to get Vampire Weekend tickets. And that's got two shows coming up to Northern Island. They're opening up the back gates because so many tickets are selling, which makes it it's a kind of a convertible venue so they can add on people. And I've only seen them do that for Dave Matthews Band because when they come out there, it's like 30,000 people want to yeah. go. But um, Fire Maid was there. They did it. Oh, did Obviously, they? yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's the show I remember. And it is it's wild when it's that many people out yeah. there. So check in right now. Call now, 312-591-8300. Boy, the snow picked up again downtown again like a blizzard. So wherever you are, be careful. We'll have a traffic update, too, coming up in about 60 seconds. But call for those Vampire Weekend tickets, but you have to win them. You have to take them out of Kara's cold, dead hands <laughs> in trivia. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101. You can't defeat her. She's too powerful. Clash with Kenzie. <laughs> Let the battle begin. Q101. And Kara Caribou in for Kenzie on maternity leave. A reminder with that Cubs broadcast we have coming up one week from Monday, the home opener, Kenzie will be on site. Cool. And Carol will be on site, too, because she likes drinking. <laughs> Showed up at that St. Patrick's Day broadcast. I didn't know she was in the building for about an hour. <laughs> she was back in the corner of the crowd there. I just saw her there sipping some drinks, talking to the crew members, having a good old time. I was sipping not alcohol. Um, I just was having... Nope. No. What, what, what do you want to tell people it was? Uh, I'm going to say it was water with lemon. 
may have had vodka in there, but you know. I can tell you, Lizzie McDeals does not serve water with lemon. <laughs> no, no, they, they do not do water yeah. there. Maybe Gibson's, but not that. Yeah, yeah. All right, so competing against Kara for these um, tickets for Vampire Weekend will be the other Kyle. Now, I forget, we have you guys in all of our text line. We kind of label you by what, things you say, like Ryan the Pepper guy who sent us some delicious, unbelievable hot sauce the other day. We have Trucker Mike. We actually found out now we have three Trucker Mikes. We have a Trucker Mike, the other Trucker Mike we label him as, and then the third Trucker Mike. So it's, a, it's a fleet. Yeah. We have a convoy of Trucker Mikes. <laughs> but I don't remember why we call Kyle the other Kyle. So, Kyle, can you explain and remind, my, remind me of that? Ahoy, ahoy. Love you guys. Love the show. Yeah, I love um, you too. I, I called in uh, in May of last year, and I said, Kyle from Arlington Heights. Well, another Kyle called that same day. So I was like, wait a minute, what happened? They were supposed to pick me. So I called back and said, it's the other Kyle from Arlington Heights. And you guys are like, oh, yeah, we had two Kyles from Arlington Heights. So I went the following day, actually. And won NASCAR tickets from us. That's great. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now, have you and the other Kyle in Arlington Heights ever gotten together for coffee? <laughs> No, but I'd love to meet the guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I'm sure he's listening right now. Hi, Kyle. <laughs> okay, Kyle. <laughs> All, right, so here, <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, first one to five wins. Listen carefully. If Kara gets one wrong, you can steal a point, and she can do the same to you. Call heads or tails right now, Kyle, the other Kyle. Tails never fails. It doesn't today either. It's tails. Oh, good for you. Yes. All right, Kyle. Uh, I'll stop saying that. Thank you. I can't. I just. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my. So, uh, what kind of birds would you find in a gaggle? A gaggle? Yeah. What kind of birds? Um, I would say geese. Geese is right. Oh, good job. Wow. Really? Yeah. I was going to say turkey, but yeah. geese fart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's uh, good guess. Always pays to guess. People sometimes don't say I don't know, but right. it's always pays to guess in this game. Kara, I really didn't know. Yeah, uh, Kara, which U.S. state is nicknamed the land of ten thousand lakes? Oh, that's Minnesota. That's Minnesota. I've never been See? to Minnesota. Never. It's not that far away. I've no. never been. And they have more than ten thousand lakes. Is that right? Way. Yeah. I don't yeah. buy it. <laughs> Who went out there and counted them? <laughs> uh, it's back to Kyle. That's right. One to one. Kyle, what kind yeah. of Kyle? What kind of animal was pictured on the wrapper of a Klondike bar? Um. Man, I don't know this one either. Guess an animal quick. Um. um Three, two, one. See, Kylie, just guess an animal. You know, you know animals. You could have said a snake, and would have been wrong, but it would have been fun. <laughs> I know, it's, I know, it's a cold animal. That yeah. is, th that is why I think I know what it is. Yeah, I think it's a polar bear. Polar bear. Yeah, cold animal. Uh, They're freezing. Don't touch a polar bear. They're freezing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it back to Kyle? No, no, back, it's to back to Kara. It's two to one. Back to Kara. Kara, what movie's protagonist is named Lightning McQueen? Oh, uh, Cars. Cars is right. Kara's got three. Kyle, uh, who released the song Fly Away at the end of 1998? Fly Away. I want to fly away. Uh, Lenny, Lenny, Lenny Kravitz. All right, All right, you helped him along I with that. I helped him a little bit on that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kara, um, Atlantic City is located in which state? New Jersey. New Jersey is right. By the way, I think last was night was the finale out. of the Jersey Shore vacation on MTV. It's an incredible season. Really? Of Jersey Shore. Huh. And I got to I gotta make sure I watch that. I, I, I saved it. So In I 30 it. seconds or less, can you tell us why we should watch it this season? Because well, I'm not caught up. Well, because they all got back together. <laughs> and just, to, okay, 30 seconds or less. Tonight, Ronnie was coming back on oh, the show. Oh, no, I'm in. Yeah. Unironically, I am in. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, but, but I mean, the Ronnie coming back to, uh, last night, apparently. Wow. And I didn't see it yet. So, so he reunites with Sammy. Well, they get in the room together, yeah. allegedly. Yeah. The, the sweetest bitch you'll ever meet, Sammy Sweetheart. That's her name. <laughs> That's what she labeled herself as, not me. Oh, I love Sammy Sweetheart. <laughs> oh, she's great. Yeah. All right. Two to four. Back to Kyle. Kyle. Yeah. Chris Novoselic is best known as the bass player of what band? Chris, what was his name? Chris Novoselic. Novoselic. Oh, um. Three. Well, there's two bands, but which one? What, what was the position? He's best known. Bass player. Uh, best known for Foo Fighters. Oh, oh, come on. You can't say it again. You can't. Foo Fighters are not Nirvana. Kara, who is it? I'm, I'm going to say Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, which one? Which one? Yeah. 
No, you picked two. But Christo Veselic was not in the Foo Fighters. Dave Grohl. No, was. no, I was, I was thinking of Crawl. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Dave Grohl. Never in it. Never. Weird, he wasn't in it. Never. Never in there. I'm actually, I'm actually wearing a Nirvana shirt right now. Oh no! Well, listen, Carol. Oh, well. It's Friday. It's snowing. What do you want to do? Oh, give the poor guy a ticket yeah. or two. Oh, Actually, a pair thank you so much, Kara. You're welcome. Yeah, you're going to see. You Vamp- guys are the best. Oh, you're the best, and you're going to see Vampire Weekend anyway. Yeah, thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you too, bud. Other Kyle. Clash with Kenzie. The Brian and Kenzie Show on Q101. Now, if you like free stuff, don't worry. There are Lollapalooza tickets coming up at 8 a.m. in a song scramble. Lollapalooza, four-day passes. You'll be one of the first people into Lala. 8 a.m. Right here with Brian and Kenzie on Q101. The Brian and Kenzie Show. On Q101.